here that I have to actually marry the turbo to the engine. Once I hit that button, this engine belongs to the, or this turbo belongs to that engine. There. If I do it, it'll be a re if I do another one, it'll be a reject online, and they don't like that. It's, it's not good for us when we do that. Then we have a, we have a fixture here to help install. Mounts in just like the one back there. This one here, I got to mount the line so it'll be at the correct angle to go into the block. I have a gasket to put on. That's the seal between the turbo and the exhaust. And there's two caps that I have to remove to install the rest of the turbo. What I do is I swing this into position. It'll stop. This is really easy to move. It's all air assisted. Right there, it'll stop. I use the lever. It'll insert into depth. And I Yeah. Alright, I got the engine moving a little bit, but we're inserted the duct because the light came on. What happened when I pushed it, rotate a little bit. You know, off. I'm trying to do everything where you can see it. So. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. And we rotate up to the turbo, so it lines up with the exhaust manifold. Put the bolts in. We'll use the zero torque gun instead of hand starting them. Find it's better with the zero torque gun to get less cross thread. Zero torque goes down. At least off the fixture. On this job, I also install two of the bolts. Don't tighten them down, I just hand start them. That keep the turbo solid to the engine. And then I torque off the exhaust. It actually torques pretty hard, but the arm takes up most of the torque for me, so. Then the last part of my job is the oil sending line. It's a push-pull. You'll see the bridge on the pipe. It'll actually, there's pegs in there like this, so when it goes in, it'll clamp them, and then it won't pull back out. What we do is we push it till it snaps, and we pull it back to make sure it doesn't come back out and then push it back to that. And it actually takes quite a bit of effort, but we've gotten pretty good at it. Yeah. And that's how we install the turbos. Huh. Thank you very much. Do we have any questions? Any? Uh, yeah, Anything? when you pulled away, I thought I heard an alarm. Yeah. I heard a beep or something, so I'd let you know that if that thing isn't there no. up there. No, what you heard was it sticking. Okay. It, like when I did this here? No, no, when you first were putting it up there, when you were having a little Oh, wow. to get it up there. I thought I heard a feedback over here. Yeah, no, that was, oh. that was him building one up and probably got a bad torque over there. I was telling you that, hey, yeah. you pulled away, I'm not attached. <laughs> no, that was me trying to be fancy and I, you know, didn't work that time. Worked the three the, other what's times. What's the plate with all the grease on top there? Is it, uh, yeah, this here is loose. Okay. And what happens is it'll drip on there. And it looks like oatmeal. But it actually, if you try and put one in without that, it's really hard to put it in. So we don't want to damage the rubber, the, the seal rings. 